Hey there, welcome to a new episode of The Community Show. On this week's show, we will begin with news and events from Floyd and Wythe County with what's going on. And then we will move on to this week's sports action. And then finally, on this week's something to chat about, recently I was able to attend NRV Bridals and Events Ribbon Cutting Ceremony. And so we're going to be featuring a highlight video of that event. And then on next week's show, we will actually have Barbara Newton with the organization to We'll be sitting down with Lori Saltis and myself to chat about citizen sponsorship with them. And then lastly, on this week's Something to Chat About, we will have a safety tip from Citizen Safety Team. So stay tuned and we'll be right back after this. And now for this week's What's Going On, beginning with WITH News, sponsored by the Withville Enterprise. WITH County school lunch prices will increase for the fourth year in a row as the county follows the federal law concerning lunch prices. School Superintendent Lee Brannon is suggesting a 10 cent price hike across the board for all school lunches. Brannon outlined the proposed price increase during a recent school board meeting. The board did not vote on the price but members will set the price later this year when they adopt a budget. The price hike is tied to the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act signed into law by President Obama in 2010. The act requires that schools charge the difference in what they receive in federal reimbursements for a free lunch and a paid lunch. School systems can increase lunch prices by a minimum of five cents and a maximum of 10 cents per year until they reach the desired lunch price. The target price is $2.65 right now, but it changes every year. Moving on, recent topics of discussion for the Wythe County School Board included employee sur survey results and block scheduling. Wythe County Education Association co-president Ryan Walker presented findings from the group's annual survey. He reported that overall most teachers and administrators, 77%, were satisfied or very satisfied with the salary scale. Support personnel were not as content, with only 44% satisfied or very satisfied. 31% were unsatisfied with the salary scale. Regarding health insurance, employees, employees were split on the topic of higher deductibles and lower premiums. Walker said that employees are comfortable and satisfied with their administrators. When asked about barriers to student success, the majority of employees said too much testing and student parent apathy are the main barriers. Next, Travis Jackson will soon head a foundation he helped create in 2005. The Withville resident has been selected as executive director of the With Bland Foundation, effective February 26th. He recently said that he was very pleased to be able con to contribute to his home community. The foundation has done a lot of good things for With and Bland and will continue to that do that, he went on to say. The With Bland Foundation was formerly known as the With County Community Hospital Foundation, which found formed in 1991 to support the hospital's various charitable programs. On May 31st of 2005, the hospital leased its buildings and related real estate and sold its assets to a subsidiary of LifePoint Hospitals Incorporated. Next, a laundromat at 1545 West Lee Highway in Withville was heavily damaged Sunday evening by smoke. The heat from clothes burning in a large dryer also blew out the windows of the business. According to Withville Fire Chief Ron King, one of the department's firefighters extinguished the fire by following a, throwing a five-gallon bucket of water into the dryer. Donnie Widener, who lives in the vicinity, was first on the scene and put out the fire. Twelve other firefighters and a fire truck also responded to the 6 p.m. call. King said that clothes in the natural gas heated dryer kept the thermostat heating, which caused the clothes to ignite. The heat, he stated, was so intense that it blew out a window in the building. Jean and Rose Lawson are living proof of the importance of organ donations. The Austinville area residents have both undergone transplants. We're alive today because somebody cared enough to be an organ donor, remarked 78-year-old Jean Lawson, who received a new heart in 1998. We encourage everyone to be a donor. 
His wife, who underwent a kidney donation last month, added, people just don't realize how important being an organ donator, donor is. So that it's important so that people can live. In healthier days, the Lawsons were both do organ donors, and they now have firsthand how donated organs save lives. Diagnosed with congestive heart failure, Jean Lawson suffered a heart attack in 1988, 1989, and 1990. He had bypass surgery in 1991. On August 8th of 1998, he underwent a heart transplant at the University of Virginia Medical Center in Charlottesville. Suffering from kidney failure over the years, Rose Lawson had a kidney transplant at Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina on January 8th. She had been on the list for two years. Miss Lawson commented that she thanks God for taking care of her. So many people prayed for her, including her church pastor, everybody in the church, and people that she said that she didn't even know. And now for Floyd News, sponsored by the Floyd Press. Glenn Reed, a Floyd County bus driver, was taken to the hospital Wednesday. Reed was turning his bus around when it got stuck and had stepped out of the bus, and rescue squad members transported him to a Blacksburg High School. Reports have come in that he is recovering in the Montgomery Regional Hospital. Last week's snowstorm was one of the biggest snows in recent history. With over two feet of snow, the storm had an impact on daily life in the county. Businesses were unable to open, mail and newspaper delivery was hampered, and some people were stranded at their homes for days due to blocked roads. County residents were relieved that the electricity stayed on. This week's warmer temperatures and the sun have speeded up the melting process. Earlier in the week, contractors were helping to clear snow from the town streets and parking lots. Local residents are reminded to clear the snow from their mailboxes so that mail can be delivered. Next, do you remember the film crew that came to Floyd last year? They filmed Geographically Desirable, an independent romantic comedy filled in Washington, D.C. and Floyd last year is set to be completed in June. You can now go watch the trailer online if you visit www.geodesire.com. Citizens would like to invite you to come be a part of our Citizens Centennial Celebration. Join us for refreshments, displays of Citizens History, demonstrations of Citizens' newest products, and learn about upcoming services. Join us on Friday, February 28th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Uh, we will have a special unveiling at 10 o'clock a.m. and then a time capsule burial at 2 o'clock p.m. Plus limited edition gifts for the first 100 visitors. RSVP to citizens at 745-2111 or emailing marketing at citizens.coop. And that is all for this week's What's Going On. Up next, we will have this week's sports action. When you put good people, good conversation, and good food in one place, what do you get? The Blue Ridge Restaurant in Floyd, of course. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, come in and taste Southern home cooking at its best. Check out our daily specials and meet your friends at the place that specializes in just what you're hungry for. You're going to love our specialty desserts and comfort food, too. We're just across the street from the courthouse in Floyd, and we're open seven days a week. Walk in hungry and leave with a smile at the Blue Ridge Restaurant on East Main Street in Floyd. This is Dr. Gary Collins of the Collins Chiropractic Clinic in Floyd, Virginia. We offer state-of-the-art chiropractic care, therapeutic exercise, and whole body wellness concepts to patients of all ages. Our office has the only non-surgical lumbar disc repair unit in the New River Valley. Other services include acupuncture, cold laser therapy, on-site x-rays, detoxifying foot baths, along with top-of-the-line nutritional products. All of this provided in a clean, modern, and friendly environment with a kind and caring staff. Give us a call today and let us help you on your journey to whole body wellness. And now for this week's sports action, beginning with basketball. Both the Floyd County boys and girls varsity basketball teams will be competing in the final game of the Conference 38 tournament at Floyd County High School on Friday, February 21st at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. at Floyd County High School. And then both of the teams will be moving on to play in the Region 2A West Tournament the week of February 24th through March 1st at Floyd County High School. Check out Floyd County School's website for updated schedules and times. We'd also like to say congratulations to Caleb Tanner who broke the VHSL all-time scoring record against Giles County High School on February 20th. Caleb was presented with the game ball from coaches as well as former record holder Stacy Irvin who played for Twin Springs High School in the 1990s. 
The George With High School boys basketball team will be competing in the 1A West Tournament on February 24th through March 1st as well. Check out With County Schools websites for updates on dates and times. Good luck to all of our local schools as they continue to compete in the VHSL State Tournament. And now moving on to wrestling. For Fort Chiswell on Friday, February 21st and Saturday, February 22nd, they will be competing in the State Tournament at Salem Civic Center for the VHSL Tournament title. Check out VHSL website for updated times and dates. And then finally, for MAC team. The MAC academic team for Fort Chiswell High School will be competing on Monday, March 3rd versus Galax at their home Fort Chiswell High School beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. And that is all for this week's sports action. Stay tuned. Up next, we will have this week's Something to Chat About. Bank of Floyd has been the bank thousands of Virginia families trust to manage their personal finances and grow their businesses. We understand that we need to earn our customers' business every time. And to do that, we need to know them. We focus on individual customer solutions. We're more than just your community bank. We're your neighbors. Bank of Floyd has our best interest, and I really appreciate that. Bank of Floyd. Neighbors helping neighbors. That's what we do best. Experience the difference. For farm and building supplies, make it C.W. Harmon & Son on Route 221 in Floyd. With everything for your home, lawn and garden, and the farm, why go anywhere else? From the right tool by names you know and trust, to the perfect color stain for your new deck. New deck? Yeah, we can take care of that too. Riding, pushing, you name it, C.W. Harmon & Son has the perfect tool and equipment for any job, large or small. Visit us on the web, or better yet, come see us. Family owned and serving with pride, that's C.W. Harmon & Son in Floyd. Hello, this is Jerry Sutphin with the Citizen Safety Committee with another safety tip for you. February is American Heart Month. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women. Every year, about 715,000 Americans have a heart attack. The term heart disease refers to several types of heart conditions. The most common type in the United States is coronary heart disease also called coronary artery disease, which occurs when plaque builds up in the arteries that supply blood to the heart. Coronary heart disease can cause heart attack, heart failure, and arrhythmias. But the good news, heart disease is preventable and controllable. We can start by taking small steps every day to bring our loved ones and ourselves closer to heart health. 
Some health conditions and lifestyle factors can put people at a higher risk for developing heart disease. You can prevent heart disease by making healthy choices and managing any medical conditions you may have. Eat a healthy diet. Choosing healthful meals and snack options can help you avoid heart disease and its complications. Be sure to eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. Adults should have at least five servings each day. Eating foods low in saturated fat, trans fat, and cholesterol and high in fiber can help prevent high cholesterol. Limiting salt or sodium in your diet can lower your blood pressure. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese can increase your risk for heart disease. Exercise regularly. Physical activity can help you maintain a healthy weight and lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Adults should engage in moderate intensity exercise for at least 30 minutes on most days of the week. Monitor your blood pressure. High blood pressure often has no symptoms, so be sure to have it checked on a regular basis. You can check your blood pressure at home, at a pharmacy, or at the doctor's office. Don't smoke. Cigarette smoking greatly increases your risk for heart disease. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you do smoke, quit as soon as possible. Your doctor can suggest ways to help you quit. Limit alcohol use. Avoid drinking too much alcohol, which can increase your blood pressure. Men should stick to no more than two drinks per day and women to no more than one. Have your cholesterol checked. Your health care provider should test your cholesterol levels at least once every five years. Talk with your doctor about this simple blood test. Manage your diabetes. If you have diabetes, monitor your blood sugar levels closely and talk with your doctor about treatment options. Take your medicine. If you are taking medication to treat high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or diabetes, follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Always ask questions if you don't understand something.